Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Hernandez. Welcome to the global debut of the all-new 2016 Honda Civic Sedan, live from YouTube Space LA, right here in the entertainment capital of the world, Los Angeles, California. Hello to all of you here, and thank you so much from for tuning in from all around the world. Now, here in California, some of you might recognize my voice from LA radio with Big Boy in the Morning, and many of you might know me from NBC's Access Hollywood. But I think all of you know about the exciting new vehicle that brings us all together tonight. Because today marks a very special launch for Honda that will feature not only the world's first look at the all new 10th generation Civic Sedan, you will also experience a live performance from a band that's heating up Sirius, XM's, Alt Nation, and radio stations around the country, Night Riots. Honda's got mad love for music, and you'll see that right here with Night Riot. It's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. But Honda's history is it runs music deep, including their Honda Stage program that offers music and fan access to custom online music programming and performances, behind-the-scene content, artist interviews, and more. It's all at youtube.com slash Honda Stage. And before we're through, we're going to learn about a very special relationship between Night Riot's frontman, Travis Hawley, and one of the designers of the new Civic Line. Lineup, as both of them take the stage and realize their dreams. Honda believes in something they call the power of dreams, the kind of dreams that can create a humanoid robot like Osimo and a jet plane, and of course, the all new epic 2016 Civic. But what I love most about Honda's idea of behind the power of dreams is their belief in your dreams. Watch this spot. <laughs> Before she ever sees her face on the cover of a magazine. Before managers replaced momagers. Before the sold out shows, backstage riders, and becoming huge in places she's never heard of. There was just a dream. Your dreams are our dreams. Honda, the power of dreams. Very cool. Dreams can be very powerful. And our next guests are living, are living proof. These four guys from California Central Coast are setting the alternative rock scene on fire. Their transcendent pop rock sound is modern and timeless, but with a sinister edge. Their hit Contagious is climbing the alternative radio charts. So before we get to the all new 2016 Civic, welcome, please, Night Riots.
welcome, guys. Awesome, that was incredible. And it's actually the perfect song to get us started because I have a feeling that the all-new Civic is the kind of car that will be, as we know, contagious. Now, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce the head of American Honda's product communications to provide you with some of the details of the all-new Civic. Please welcome Stay Sage Marie. Thanks, Liz. And, uh, and a big thanks to Night Riots for kicking things off with so much energy. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, so we're hopefully going to build on that, on that tonight with the debut of the all-new 2016 Civic Sedan. Many of you probably know this, but Civic is a really big deal for us. For over nine generations and 40 years, it has been one of the most successful and enduring cars in our history. It sold almost 35 million copies globally, so it's touched a lot of customers, their families, and their lives. In fact, it's the best-selling compact car in America to retail customers in each of the last eight years. And year-to-date, it's the most popular car in the industry with millennials. It first won the hearts and minds of American customers as a small car with a spacious cabin, great safety performance, uh, and of course, it's a leader in fuel economy and fun to drive. And it's a Honda, so that means, of course, great quality and great reliability. At the same time, Civic is constantly evolving, especially for our young buyers. Never has this been more true than with the car you're about to see here tonight. This is the most ambitious Civic redesign ever. It's got an all-new platform, all-new powertrains, and more variations than ever before. So that means Coupe, SI, a new five-door hatchback, and for those of you die-hard enthusiasts who have been asking us for years and years to bring a high-performance Civic Type R model to this country, I can finally say, yep, it's on its way. <laughs> but tonight, we're introducing the first new Civic in the lineup, the sedan. And before we take the wraps off, here are a few more reasons we're so stoked about this new 10th generation Civic. First, it's super fun to drive. It's always been the smart choice, but you want a car that appeals to your emotional side as well. And that's precisely what we've created for you with this car. Wider and lower, the driving position is, more, is evocative of some of the best European sports sedans. So typically, it's difficult to get great handling and a comfortable ride in the same car. But that's exactly what we did with this one. Quiet, comfortable, very fun to drive. That's what makes Civic a Civic. Boosting dynamic performance is not one, but two all new engines. The new base engine makes 15 more horsepower than the current model. And on top of that, we have an incredible new turbo engine that makes 31 more horsepower. Both engines also deliver class leading fuel economy that'll be above 40 miles per gallon on the highway. So, of course, your safety is our top priority, and we expect to earn the highest crash ratings for any compact car. There's much more to tell, but I hope you're starting to appreciate why we're calling this the best Civic ever. Now, so for the first time, uh, actually an American R&D team led the Civic development. And today, you're going to meet two members of the design team who will talk a little bit about the dramatic new styling. But first, I'm going to turn it back over to Liz for the reveal of this all-new Civic. Liz? Thanks, Sage. All right, you guys. The moment you've all been waiting for. There have been a number of spy photos and unofficial sightings of the all-new Civic. But here at the YouTube Space LA, we have the official global debut. Everyone, get ready to meet the all-new 2016 Honda Civic Sedan.
love, 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 love the new Civic. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's amazing, so beautiful. All right, now let's learn more about it from someone involved in creating the style. Here is a quick look at one of the design leaders, exterior design leader from the Civic Sedan, Jared Hall. I was the project leader for the 2016 uh, Civic Sedan. Uh, and as such, my job was basically to see design to the finish line. I worked with uh, Ohio R&D, engineering, um, aerodynamics group to ensure that every, you know, nothing was missed and that the car came across the best possible way it could. For me, I experience the power of dreams every day. And it starts with my commute on the way to work. I'm sitting in my car in traffic and I happen to look over and I might see something that I worked on 10, 15 years ago. It's a great feeling. It's like nothing else in the world. Um, I love that high. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the YouTube stage, Jared Hall. Thank you, Thank you Liz. This is an incredibly exciting moment for our global R&D team. Working on this Civic was a dream come true. Our LA design studio had the honor of leading the final styling effort based on a design started by my colleagues back in Japan. I've never been a part of a global team quite this passionate and committed to delivering something truly extraordinary like this new Civic. Together, we aim to create the very best compact car in the world. Sage spoke about the new sporty driving position, and from a design perspective, the starting point was to have a lower, sportier seating position for the driver. The styling portrays a muscular and athletic feel that gives a strong sense of acceleration, even when the car is standing still. We wanted to create a low and wide stance, and this Civic is almost an inch lower and nearly two inches wider than the current model. We also shortened the front overhang and lengthened the wheelbase. This pushes the wheels out to the corners, creating a much more aggressive stance. In fact, I think my favorite thing about this new car is the way it sits on the road. The low wide stance speaks volumes about the exciting driving experience. You might also notice that the headlights, taillights on upper trim levels are all LED, a first in the compact class. And the lighting doesn't just look sexy. It offers outstanding visibility on the road. When we design Civic, form follows function in everything we do. That's the Honda way. And this design is no exception. So you might be surprised that despite the lower roof line, it's even bigger inside. In fact, the cabin space is class leading. In the back seat, we're delivering two additional inches of legroom. And the raised rear section doesn't just accent the fast profile, it makes for an even larger trunk. The premium sporty exterior is matched with a more sophisticated, high quality and technology packed interior. You'll experience driving refinement and quietness unprecedented on a compact car. I think the quality and premium feel of this new interior will knock you off your feet. With, with Night Riot playing here tonight, I'm happy to also tell you that a 450 watt 10 speaker system for the touring trim is the most powerful audio system in the competitive set. This opens the door to a rich world of entertainment for music lovers. From standard Pandora compatibility to HD radio, we have maximum connectivity. And I think all of you will really appreciate that we have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, support from seamless and intuitive and integration of smartphone fun functionality. This is an industry first on compacts. Without question, the 10th generation Civic will be hands down the most dynamic, most technologically advanced, most refined and stylish Civic we have ever brought to market. It's truly the realization of the power of dreams. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. And now back to you, Liz. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> Everybody, Mr. Jared Hall and the all-new Civic Sedan. And once again, Night Riots!
freaking awesome. All right. Now, this idea of the power of dreams is really something very important and very powerful that I want all of you to think about. It's a way of thinking and inspiration that means taking a dream, no matter how big or small it may be, and see it through with your own determination. Now, following that dream all the way to reality. I... I loved cars. I dreamt of cars all the time. My parents would say that I had an unhealthy obsession with um, cars and wheels. For me to be here in California, which is it's a pretty amazing place, doing what I love doing, it's, it, it really is a dream come true. Living in Italy, Turin, I was, I was very, very passionate in, about design and about drawing cars. I remember one night he, he started sketching out ideas and I was kind of blown away because I, I didn't know that he was so talented. But he was drawing like the vectors of a car or whatnot and I just remember being kind of blown away by it. I met Travis Holly of Night Riots um, in Turin, Italy. He was living in the apartment block just over the, uh, over the road from where I was living. He was living with a lot of American students. They were studying over there for a year and um, I recently just uh, finished university. I was living with a couple of guys from England. I, I didn't speak a whole lot of Italian at the time. I was uh, definitely keen to kind of get out there and party and uh, Travis and his friends had uh, similar motives and our paths crossed and uh, we started hanging out. I met Guy in Italy and it was a group of British guys and they knew that the American exchange students um, came over and so they would kind of greet everybody in, um, in the apartments. And it just happened that we, we connected and we became really close friends. At that time, we were just kind of in the moment and just 
you know, living and gaining experience and gaining, you know, life points. I've been pretty impressed with Night Riots and their rise to fame and, and their music. It's, it's pretty awesome. Well, there are a lot of crazy nights, a lot of good times. Um, and yeah, we had a lot of fun together. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see him actually, he's, uh, he's a cool guy. I did use social media to reach out to Guy after I found out that he had led the team for the Honda Civic. Uh, I remember seeing it, I think I saw it on Facebook or it might have even been in the news and I just kind of was blown away because I knew he was talented, I knew that he was continuing in the field but I didn't know um, the caliber or the level that he was working at. I mean it's a huge accomplishment, it's a huge achievement. You have to remember that sometimes you, you share like times and places with people in a short period and you connect with them and I just remember you know kind of having to get on the plane the next day we I think again we stayed out all night it was a big group of us and you know we said said bye to these guys that, that I really liked and you know they said they kind of wished me the best and kind of assumed we'd never see each other again to be honest. I think the power of dreams is to follow your heart, follow your passion, forget about the noise, and listen to what you truly think and what feels right to you. And when you do that, and when you push that, and when you forget about all that noise, and you really do the things that matter to you and the things that you feel, you can never go wrong. Now let's welcome to the stage exterior design leader for the Civic Coupe, Guy Melville Brown. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. It is an honor to be here tonight to celebrate with Jared and the rest of the team for the unveiling of what is, quite frankly, a, a pretty incredible car. Oh, yeah. Very incredible. So as we look at the dynamic new coupe, I mean, this thing is just beautiful that you designed. I mean, it's pretty awesome because we brought up you up here for a very special reason. You and the front man, as we know, have known each other for 10 years, but it's been 10 years since you've seen each other. You met back in Italy. Yeah. Pretty much to the day. It's, wow. it's intense. Yeah. So this is definitely going to be a fun reunion. We're going to have you guys. Yeah. So what was it like? You guys met 10 years ago, haven't talked, haven't seen each other till today. I mean, it was nuts. We had some, we had some amazing times in Italy, I think. You know, well, we're, we're going to bring Travis out because we want him to recap all of this for us. <laughs> I like how the universe works. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so it's Travis, tell us first how you got into the whole music scene. Uh, well, I've actually been playing music with those guys back there. Uh, since I first started playing, I started playing drums. Went to a, a small school in the central coast of California. Uh, and we just started playing music together. And then uh, I actually went and studied abroad, met Guy. And after I came back is when we kind of started up the band. I'm sure you guys have some pretty good, crazy stories out in Italy. <laughs> we, we have a few, right? We have a yeah. couple. I mean, what, wait, what was Ben looking for there? Yeah, yeah. No, together. <laughs> um, no, it was, it's, it's weird. It's like when you live in a foreign country, you, you kind of feel like an outsider. But the flip side of that is that there's this kind of like anonymity. In some ways, you feel almost a little untouchable. And so as a result, the nights out get way crazier than they would ever get back home. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun and we saw a lot of, I'd say we saw a lot of sunsets and sunrises, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But still handled your business, which I like. So now you're both on the same stage and you are both, of course, your careers are taking off and living your dreams. So Travis, let me ask you, what advice would you kind of give people that are trying to live and fulfill their full dreams? I would say just focus on, on what's in front of you. I mean, if you're passionate about something, just don't lose sight of it and just don't give up. You know, there's nobody to tell you that you can't do something if you feel strongly enough about it. And, and don't compare yourself to anything else. Just focus on what you're doing and, and what you love to do. Amazing. All right, Guy, we want to know what it was like putting this whole car together and being in New York and just working on it and seeing your dreams come full fruition. It was, it, I mean, it was incredible. We, you know, we set out as a team to create the most charismatic, 
the most exciting, the most ambitious Civic we've ever made. We set out to design a car that if Mr. Honda was around, he himself would be proud of. So, you know, to get the reaction from the customers that we've got to really kind of vindicate our wildest dreams made us incredibly happy and very, very proud. So it's, it's been amazing. Amazing. It's in Travis, you, I wanted to see what it's been like. You're, you're on the road. You have this big hit, Contagious. What has it been like? You guys have known each other your whole childhood, and here you are now. Things have just taken off. Yeah, it's been wild. I mean, I, I think in the last year or two specifically, I mean, we were just playing shows. I, I was thinking that, you know, in the very beginning, it was always a little step, and you have this dream in front of you, and it's like, for us, it was like, oh, if we can play a show, that'll be the biggest thing we can do. And we <laughs> played a show, and then it's like, well if we can get a van and we could tour. <laughs> and then you, it's like little steps. And you know, just five days ago, we were flying out to a radio date on the other side of the country. And we've done a bunch of those this year. And I kind of looked to the guys and, and just said, like, can you believe this is where we're at right now? There was a, a moment where like, just being in a van was the craziest thing. And all of a sudden, we're being flown all over the country to play shows. So and it's, been, it's been incredible. And we're enjoying every moment of it. Wow, well let these two guys be your motivation to seeing how your dreams can really come true if you work hard. Yeah, thank you, Travis, so much. This has definitely been an emotional reunion, but the happiest, of course. All right, congratulations to both of you on your current success and what is sure to, you know, everything that's gonna come in the future. This is awesome. The sounds are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Now, one last time, let's hear it for Night Riots, you guys. Thank you.
hear it for Night Riots. And most importantly, let's give it up for the all new 2016 Honda Civic Sedan. Thank you, Sage, Jared, Guy, Travis, and Night Riots. 